Hello, this is Adel Salem for King Top Lots. Today we're doing another segment. It's a little bit different this time. I'm putting more birds for you in the cages since I can't go to the show. Uh, things have gotten a little difficult for the shows now. Um, in California, we have that bird flu problem and they condemn so many turkeys, but have a th happy Thanksgiving in advance. However, anyway, so I'm trying to avoid contacts with the birds, uh, other birds. And in the meantime, I'd like to present the birds for you and talk about them. And uh, this time we have a good segment. This is gonna be one of uh, three, four segments on the same style. Uh, I'm presenting uh, the Otaris and the Rehanis, which we have discussed before, but, and we'll add uh, that <clears throat> Sophies to it as well. And uh, mostly, in fact, I would say all of them, except one or two birds, they are from this year. Uh, so we're gonna continue in this, and then thank God I've got some helper today, a great helper, which is my grandson, Khalil. Uh, he is right behind, uh, behind the camera now, and then I'll let him uh, uh, join me at the end of it. So let's get closer now. Uh, Khalil, can you get uh, the camera closer or the tripod? I will help like him this? in that so we don't have, yeah. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna get a little closer and then I'm just doing that, helping him out. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we gonna focus uh, on, as you see the, the Otaris here, again, we, you're all familiar. And then uh, the most important, the birds are panning, by the way, but we don't pay attention to that. It's gotten a little bit warmy, warmy today. Uh, we have uh, three cocks and one hen. Uh, I'm gonna try to focus on the most important thing, which is the head sitting. The head sitting is always broad and uh, slope from, uh, you know, the tip of the beak going down, curving on the curvature of the back. Um, we'll get a little closer here. There is no, uh, the beak is stout. There is no, it, these birds are young, so, uh, and in, in, in spite of that, you can see how broad the beak is. Uh, and uh, uh, right next to the group is a bunch of Rehanis. Hopefully, I will have two females here. Uh, the worst scenario is uh, it will be only one. Uh, I know there are two older males from the last year. No, not the last year, more than that, about five years old. So actually the two hands, two younger hands that I bred the last year, and then I'm, yeah, let's see if we can move it closer and slowly here. You can tell the old ones, but the, the reason I'm presenting these two groups together again and again and again in, in all my writings is because of, you know, people have mixed these two groups. They're entirely different. One got a very skinny, narrow beaks, and then the other one is very broad beak. So how could you m mix these two? Uh, most of the veterans now here, or the pros that have been breeding the Swifts for quite a while, they know the difference now. Do not mix these two breeds. But our number is still very low. Uh, it's not that, if I, you know, you get some people that they call me and they say, oh, I'd like to have a pair of Rehani and a pair of Otari. They basically uh, 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 get attracted to the main and uh, they, they see that, they mix them. The same thing with the Blue Velvet or the Gasganges. They just kind of mix it. So they lost the value of the bird. Remember, the value of the Egyptian Swifts is based on the purity. If you still have a lone bird, but different feathers, uh, you know, like in it, uh, white feathers here or there, uh, uh, different 
uh, color of eyes. These are all points that are the ethics of the Egyptian Swifts. Yeah, you lose that, you lost the bird. And not likely that you will be able to come back. Uh, let's say, you know, for instance, this Rihani here, if he turns around, they should have an orange uh, uh, color of eye. Uh, uh, the one that is right next to this three. And I think you can see it very well here. The mane is very strong and it has a bib or it's not totally, the golden color is not solid around, you know, going in one circle. No, there is retraction below the beak on the neck area. So it's, there is a black in the middle of that mane. Um, you know, do you, do you see that? And even, right? yeah, you can see it from the sides here. And this one also, even the female is showing that clearly, the one that is towards me. Okay. This Otari uh, is a female, the one on the left, far left, the corner of the cage. It's a beautiful bird. Come on, turn around so we can see you. Okay, I'm gonna turn around a little bit so hopefully you can see her. Yeah, she's facing us now. Um, so I'm looking forward to breed her this year with one of the good male Otadis that I have, the older ones on the, on the loft. Okay, I'm gonna get some Safis now while Khalil is focusing on the birds here. All the Safis that I, you know, from this year, they're all from this year. Why am I showing Safis also every time? Someone might say, oh gee, you know, he doesn't have anything but these groups. My friends, trust me, the Egyptian Swifts are fine and in good shape in this loft. This loft is considered worldwide. I'm not trying to brag about myself, but you wouldn't find a loft like this loft anywhere in the world. I've got all the nine, eight or nine groups of Swifts and a very good quality. Of course, there are some people that they have specialized highly uh, <coughs> in Swifts and they have, uh, uh, a better bird here or there, but to find one loft, one loft combining all these great qualities, uh, you know, this is, this is not likely. I mean, I'm talking about like in Egypt, uh, bless their hearts, you know, you go to one loft, wow, they got tremendous Otaris, tremendous Rehanus, or two groups, I would say. Uh, that's, those are the cage birds, the one that they are raised for showing qualities but again the showing qualities only will limit uh, their lifespan okay well enough of that uh, look at these uh, Safis here they are very well inclined holding themselves they are just young you know all of them are very young from this year some of them you know and then I'm gonna pull that squeaker I mean, I wish I can pull some of these birds, you know, on a very, very close up, but uh, I mean, the only thing I can do is get a little closer here. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm just kind of, I was dreading doing this, afraid to lose any of these birds. See how spooky they are, you know, Khalil just got closer and then they just kind of got spooked. Uh, which is okay. I mean, I'm just telling you that I just kept the quality, the flying quality in him intact. Um, of course, you know, the Safis is known to be slightly less, you know, like Otaris uh, can fly, Otaris, Reds, Bulks can fly about two or three hours, no problem. Uh, the Safis, you know, get tired, short of breath, a little faster. Okay, they always say, if you can breed good quality Safi, you are a fine breeder. 
yeah, you know, you got good quality birds all around. And then some people, they have 10, 20 pairs of otaris and, uh, yeah, you know, just total specialization, I'm sorry, sophies, total specialization in one breed. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pull one bird and then I'll switch to the Arabic. And by the way, uh, you know, hopefully the climate uh, situation or conference will produce some good stuff in Egypt. There are some great people showing up in that conference. So wish you the best. Uh, آه ده اللي احنا فرخناه آه السنة دي وانا هجيب الصافي ده من قريب كما ذكرت يعني آه ان آه عملية صعبة جدا لما انت آه بتفرخ حمام من عشة واحدة ويبقى فيها جميع المجموعة دي طب ليه انا عمال آه 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 اتكلم على الكلام ده كتير لاني صعب ان انت تربي كل ده ما انا ما مش متخصص في في, في مثلا في يعني حاجه واحده معينه انا انا بربي عشان الحمام ده ما ينقرضش في امريكا وبعد كده هندي لحد تاني ده مثلا واحد من خمس صوافة جوه في العشه يعني لسه زغليل فرخهم السنه دي ف الاورا بتاعته عاليه وانتم طبعا معلمين في المواضيع ديت فتقدروا تحكموا طبعا الفرد نظيف يعني الصوافه عامه زي ما انت عارف كده هوت لازم تفضل تبدر فيهم على طول اللون الابيض بي بيتعك بال بال بيسوس تمام يعني و هشارك فرد كمان معاكم شارك مين ده اكبر منه شوية ده دولت فرخهم انا مع قصوص مختلفة يعني انا ما بفرخش قص واحد من قص واحد لوين كان الحمام ده انتهى شايف انت الفرد وشه عامل ازاي الوش عريض ازاي انا زي ما بقول انا ما والرفعة ديت وده لسه زغلول يعني يا دوبك لسه كاتم عليه كام أنا أنا الحقيقة أرشه عشان السوس لقيت فيه سوستين يعني يمكن كل عليه إيه يمكن اثنين أربعة عليه خمسة عندي أنا طبعا في عندي ألوان كتير الزرق وعندي جلد نمر منهم طبعا لو 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 علي أنا ما ربيش غير الصافي <تصفيق> إنما إنما لازم أمشي الريحاني والصفر والبل وكل حاجة وده اللي هنشارك فيه المرة الجاية إن شاء الله آه. طيب إن شاء الله يكون عجبكم تعالى خليل بقى أقف أنت وأنا هفر خليل اللي بساعدني في التصوير لو ما كانش خليل معايا النهاردة آه ما كانش خليل معايا النهاردة ما كنتش عرفت أعمل التوليفة دي آه ف ان شاء الله يعني يبقى معانا دايما هنا هو كده هو واقدر يساعدني في التصوير وحطه الحمام رايح جاي اشكرهم جدا وان شاء الله تكونوا استمتعتوا بالفيديو ان ثانك يو سي ثانك يو تو ايفري بودي